Ultimate Round, 18 of the most significant golf holes in Northern Ireland. We're off to Royal Port Rush for holes four and five, and then it's down to Kirkiston Castle for hole six. A former and future host of the Open, Royal Port Rush is one of the most famous golf clubs on the planet. The Dunluce Links was shaped by the legendary Harry Colt and is as demanding in 18 holes as you'll find anywhere. The 13th and 14th are one of the finest pairings in world golf. From the championship tees, the 13th is 418 yards with a dog leg left. The green has severe runoff in all directions and is protected by two bunkers. It's a spectacularly elevated golf hole that says so much about Royal Port Rush. It's going to be a driver off the tee into what I would describe as a, a, a relatively small plateau area to be able to then hit a sort of a, a mid to short iron into this upturned green, which is very unforgiving. Everything falls off the green rather than onto the green, so you have to be plumb in the middle. I think it's a pivotal hole, and those that play it well will be rewarded, but those who are slightly off song uh, will be heavily penalised. These spectacular and revered holes of the Dunluce Links are either carved between the mighty dune system or perched on top of the cliffs. The second half of the great 13 and 14 double act is Calamity, one of the most famous holes in world golf. It's par three, 210 yards off the competition tees and carrying the deep ravine is critical. It's nerve wracking, <laughs> it's scary. <laughs> Some days you can go in with an iron and other days you're hitting driver and just praying to God that you can reach the green. <laughs> you can't miss. Um, if you go right, you're in position Z. You can bail out left, which is okay. It's known as Bobby Locks Hollow, but if you're adventurous and just here for one time only, you want to go straight for the pin and see what you can do. It's definitely worthy of the name. Um, you can definitely have a calamity there <laughs> any day. You can walk off with a two or you can walk off with a ten. <laughs> Kirkiston Castle Golf Club has the distinction of being the only pure Lynx course on the Ards Peninsula. It has the perfect blend of historic monuments, manicured greens and snaggy seaside rough. The 435 yard 10th is reputedly one of the most difficult par 4 holes in Ireland. Nicknamed Longreach, it's the position and size of the hilltop green that bring the real challenge. It's one of the hardest golf holes I've ever played in my life. You've got out of bounds up the left and wind bushes. You've got bunkers up the right with deep rough. And even if you hit a great tee shot, sometimes you're faced with a three wood or a four iron to basically a postage stamp green perched on top of a hill. And your second option is to just lay up. And even then, it could be a pitching wedge or an eight iron. Again, onto a very difficult green that's almost impossible to hold in the summer whenever it's dry. It's a Marmite type thing, you either love it or hate it. I think it deserves a place in the ultimate round because if you make a par at the 10th, whether the wind's with you or against you, you're a golfer. Mm -hmm. 